Well, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Citizens of YouTube pastored out here. The war in Russia, well, Ukraine against Russia. What's really going on? Let me go ahead and help y'all read between the lines. First of all, America don't like Russia because they're a very moral country. Um, not only that, I think Putin is a better president by far than any of the presidents that we've had in the last 20 or 30 years. But what's really going on is, is that America is funding a country that's not even in NATO, Ukraine, simply because Russia is allegedly our enemy, and in order to save face um, the American way, we let them use their bodies, their energy, their resources, them forcing people to fight in a war against Russia, that big old bear, that juggernaut, like I told you what was going to happen, Russia was going to turn that country into a heap ass, and it is. And so we are funding that country because it's in their interest, talking about Americans, which it ain't in the American people interest because the American people don't give a damn about Ukraine. Y'all know the reason why? Let's just tell the truth. None of these countries out there give a damn about America. We've always been in a position to be used and abused by these other countries where everybody else is eating off our table. And they're eating off our table because of the dumb politicians like Joe Biden, who's been in office, uh, be it the Senate or the president or vice president for 45 years and ain't did a damn thing and accomplished one thing. Tell me if this ain't some type of scheme. Was going, there's got to be something going on because how do these buffoons continue to keep getting elected unless somebody got their hands in their pocket? See, this is American politics, and this is called favoritism. That's what all this stuff is. We have no interest whatsoever at all in Ukraine. They're not part of NATO. We're wasting billions and billions and trillions of dollars to fight against Russia, to deplete them in so-called resources stuff by us continuing to keep the printing press going because we're broke as hell. We don't have no money. And for what? And for what? And then don't let me get started on this Israel stuff. But I tell you, man, it's crazy. It's crazy. And you're watching the American empire decline right before our very eyes. If you know anything about history, go read and, and, and see about the downfall of Rome and see if we're not morally, spiritually, and naturally bankrupt in every single area. And as a society, we're declining just like them. It's happening. The playbook is the same. And no matter how many times we get up and try to scream and holler and shout from the rooftop that we're following history and America's no longer the empire to what it used to be. It's only decline, big time. Matter of fact, it, it, it's, it's really steep into it. This is not going to continue to keep on happening. And the sad part about it is your children, children is going to reap the ignorance of this particular generation right here. I told you, I've said it once, said it a thousand times, the way things are going, you probably would do good to start teaching your children or having them go to some Mandarin classes. They look like the next world ruling empire. Um, and they're positioning themselves for it too. Because America, hey, you can tell them we got no fight in us. They're having a difficult time getting people in the military because the people ain't smart enough to pass the test. Just got finished talking to the recruiters. And I, can you blame it though? Why in the hell would you want to send Americans over there to go fight these warrantless wars? Wars that ain't got nothing to do with us in order to maintain our sovereignty as a nation, but just to continue to keep lining the coffers. I wonder how much money Zelensky has in his pocket now after all of these campaign contributions, these war chest contributions that America's giving him. Huh? You think he's north of, of almost a, a half a billion dollars? You think he's north of that? These people are enriching themselves of the dead bodies of their own countrymen, they're enriching themselves. And I tell you, um, don't believe these politics are nothing like this. The American people don't give a damn about Ukraine, don't care nothing about the war. They don't care nothing about what's going on with Hamas or Israel, no to ever at all. Americans care about keeping food on their table, a roof over their head, and 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 um and um making sure they have the, the resources to be able to live a decent life over here rather than being put out on the street and being homeless. We spend more money for foolishness in this world than we do are taking care of our own in our own backyards. And if you're a veteran, you already know you're getting the short end of the stick all the way around. It's just sad, it really is. Um, so when is this rhetoric gonna stop? 
when all this mess is going to change. When? Hmm? I told you, it ain't going to change. They're going to continue to keep doing what they're doing. My advice to you is invest in yourself. How many times you heard me say that? Invest in yourself. Protect yourself. Learn how to guard yourself. Train. Uh, be sober. Be vigilant. Do all the things that's going to preserve you and your family on your own homestead in this generation, in your own community, because this country don't give a shit about you. They don't give one nickel's worth of rat's ass or a damn about you. And if you're blind and can't see that, I'm telling you, if you notice this patriarchal spirit that they so-called have in America, it's all but gone. Now, now you got people out there, ex-special forces, people, SEALs, uh, Rangers, and all them, uh, people out there over and over and over again, um, being looked at sideways by our own government and stuff as they're the terrorists and stuff. And we got the biggest terrorists up there wearing suits and ties. The biggest terrorists that there is, the biggest gangsters that they are in the world, they all reside in Washington, D.C., so-called ex supposed to be elected representation of the states. That's who they are. Them the big gangsters, them the real terrorists. Man, wake up, preserve and save yourself. Forget the rest of this stuff.